Hey guys, what is up? Here is the long-awaited Life Lessons episode numero uno. In the background, I'm just going to say this straight off the bat, uh, is just, I think, two gameplays, and so that's why it's about 20 minutes long or so, just so I um, have a little e extra time to talk. So I'm just going to jump straight into this. This episode... Uh, is girls that's that's gonna be the topic of discussion for this episode uh, <clears throat> girls they are the most confusing things in the entire world they are more complex than a Rubik's cube they're like a Rubik's cube that is impossible to solve they they, they play mind games with you 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 never really know what they're thinking and honestly you never will I <laughs> I'm only 15 years old, and I sound like I'm trying to be a, like a psychiatrist or something, but I, I, I guarantee I'm not. I'm just speaking from experience and what I have gathered, my knowledge from this specific area. Um, so, girls, you can't live with them, but you can't live without them. It's, I, I don't know if you guys have heard that before, that's like an old saying, but that it's true. Um... Sometimes you get really mad at them, and you're just like, man, I, I screw this. But then, th th then you like see them, and you start talking to them, and th then you just start falling in love with them again. It's just like, it's a whole complex situation that everybody gets involved with. Now, uh, my personal opinion, when you're talking to a girl, and you're trying to... I wouldn't use the words get them to like you because you can't force someone to like you, but like catch their eye if you know what I mean. So <clears throat> a couple things I do is obviously show them more attention than any other girl, um, but the number one thing is respect. Uh, if you're really respectful towards a girl and you're sweet and kind and you're just truthful and you're genuine and you, you don't fake your personality and try to be some cool tough guy and then um, she invites you over to her house and you start watching the notebook and you start crying and you like three boxes of tissues like obviously she's gonna realize that you're not who you say you are so me personally I am I just be myself and I'm really respectful uh, don't say things to girls that you're gonna regret like don't call a girl whore don't call a girl fat never call a girl fat that's the stupidest thing in the world you can do uh, because they take it seriously and uh, my sisters are 12 now and somebody called them fat and my one of my sisters actually thought she was fat and she's like 70 pounds and she's like 12 years old and like 5'2 like they're really underweight they're, and then most girls that's how they think when someone calls them fat, then they automatically think that they shouldn't eat, and then that's that's where like anorexia and bulimia come from. So that's just stupid. Don't ever do that. That's like the dumbest thing you can do. I've never called a girl fat, and I'm never going to, because that's that's I can't even like explain how disrespectful and rude that is. So don't do that. If you've already done that, uh, don't do it again. And another thing is, when you break up with a, a girl, like I have several times, I'm not going to mention the number, but when you do it, uh, still try to be friends with them. I know, like, the thing is, when guys, like, break up with them, I hope we can still be friends and blah, 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 and that never really works out, and it's just, like, awkward, and you, never, you don't talk to each other for, like, four months, but uh, I like to be friends with my ex-girlfriends. Um, my... <sighs> Like, just my last girlfriend that I had is, like, one of my best friends that's a girl right now. Like, I, I talk to her all the time about pretty much everything. And so, y you never really, like, have you have a different relationship with them when you're friends. And then when you take it to the next level, it's a completely another different relationship. Like, I'm in the uh, process of getting a girlfriend right now. And when I was friends with her... We didn't talk about the same things that we talk about right now, but it, it's it's weird. It's a, it's a really weird to explain, but I, I'm going to uh, move on to the topic of asking girls out. A lot of guys uh, wonder how they, how you, how do you ask a girl out? What do you do? What make, wants to make a girl say yes? Um, 
what, what do you say? Honestly, the an my answer to that question is I don't effing know because I don't even know how I'm gonna ask the girl I like out, and I'm planning on doing it tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna make something up and try to be funny. Uh, that's that doesn't work for everybody, obviously. It depends on who you're asking out, but I I think it's just be polite. Don't be like, hey, yo, shot, do you wanna go hit up them clubs later? Like, mm, unless you're black, that's not gonna work. So that's just <laughs> that's just how I think about it, and. Uh, when you ask a girl out, uh, at this age, for for at least me, I'm not allowed to date yet. So don't be like, hey, uh, you want to go to the movies at 6 o'clock on Friday when you can't. That's like, you're asking a girl out, but don't ask her out to a date if you can't go. That's that's stupid. Uh, but I actually have talked to my parents about dating, and they uh, said if I have enough respect and responsibility, then they will actually let me start dating. At the age of 15, which is pretty ridiculous, they said I can, like, go to the movies um, with my girlfriend by myself, just, like, me and her, and then we can spend a couple hours, like, at the movies and, like, walking around and talking and stuff. Like, at that e at this age, for me, that is just, like, heaven. That is just so nice. Uh, but when, you're, when you go out with a girl on a date, like, a real date, you take her out to dinner or something, um... You don't have to take her somewhere extremely fancy unless, obviously, it's a um, specific occasion like a, a one-year anniversary or something like that. But you don't don't be fancy every time because then they're going to get used to it. And if you're not, like, extremely rich, then you're not going to be able to provide uh, that kind of fancy food and dinners and stuff all the time. So that, that kind of ties in with a be yourself. Um... Most people will act different around girls than they do their friends and then they do around their parents. Uh, that is true for me. That is true for most kids. Uh, when I'm around my parents, at times I'm, I, I like goof around and I'm stupid and I'm disrespectful, but who doesn't really act like that around their parents? Uh, and when I'm around my friends, I'm perverted and... There goes my phone. And I'm perverted and... I try to be funny, and around girls, I'm respectful, I try to be polite, and flirtatious, obviously, I mean, duh. So, that's how I act, but really, you should be the same person around everybody, but, uh, like, I, I wouldn't really know how to explain that into any more depth, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Now, um, flirting. Gosh, I don't know how many times I have gotten asked, how do you flirt? That's a stupid question. Because honestly, it depends on the girl, it depends on the situation, it depends on what you're talking about, it depends what she said, like, it, it, it's so specific. It's just like when the time is right, you do it. Because I had a friend in 8th grade who, because I in 8th, no, in 7th grade, I went out with four or five eighth graders and they were all like really attractive and um at least in my opinion they were and uh my friend was like dude how how do you get how do you get girls like what do you say and i he's like no offense to him but he's kind of ugly so i mean you can't really help someone out unless he like get got plastic surgery i mean that sounds really mean but like i don't know what to say uh you like he liked my girlfriend and he wanted me to get him her to like him i'm like uh dude i'm kind of going out with her that doesn't make sense so i mean i don't really know how to help someone out by giving flirting tips uh it really just depends on like what's going on um don't say you're hot like